Chimoni, Kwale County. Now, what if you could grow a full garden of food using just a tiny space, recycled plastics and no soil in the ground? Well, that's exactly what one farmer in the county of Kitui is doing. Daniel Karanja is pioneering what's known as sub-zero farming, where crops are grown with minimal land, water and other inputs, but with maximum results. Dennis Oteno visited him at his farm in Kitui County and tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. In the urban heart of Kitui Central at Katulani Ward, in a space barely the size of a classroom, Daniel Karanja is growing food that feeds both his family and increasingly the community around him. I've been practicing farming since I was a child. However, this particular kind of farming, I got interested in it after experiencing challenges uh, during covid uh, the period during the lockdown. Right now, it is it's, it's growing to be something that is is now being uh, taken by the community, and I'm happy for the for the progress so far. Welcome to Blissful Farm, home to what Karanja calls sub-zero farming. The sub-zero here isn't about the weather temperature, but farming with nearly zero resources, no open land no heavy irrigation and no chemicals. We plant in containers, so we also play our tiny role in recycling or putting plastic waste into functional use. We've been able to contain the roots in containers, in plastic containers, uh, because we are able to supply these roots with uh, the nutrients and uh, minerals that they deserve uh, to sustain plant growth and uh, development up to maturity. Using vermicomposted soil and liquid organic fertilizer, Karanja is growing a variety of plants. Tomato, ginger, rosemary, spinach, passion fruit, strawberries, and even the unlikely pumpkin. The one plant that has shown resilience, the one plant that is performing so well is uh, a pumpkin. Uh, pumpkins, uh, for some very interesting reasons, perform so well in uh, containers. So containing uh, pumpkin roots in a plastic uh, container has been uh, our major headache, uh, but we've been successful in uh, maneuvering that hurdle. And uh, right now we are growing pumpkins uh, at, a, at a rate that we had never uh, imagined before. Plastic nets help support the fruits, while vertical structures save space. Everything here is geared towards growing more in less space, turning non-biodegradable waste into farming assets. We are practicing contemporary urban farming. Uh, what we envision is producing food uh, using limited spaces. So we want to play our role in ensuring that uh, this country is food secure. The food that we produce is easily accessible and fresh. Karanja's farm is also a learning hub where others come to understand sustainable farming with limited resources. We envision uh, uh, a farm that a model farm where people just come and learn, uh, but most importantly, uh, pick on lessons on how to not only just produce and make liquid organic fertilizer, uh, but also embrace input-based organic farming uh, to produce food. According to Karanja, this model of farming is all about doing more with less, producing nutritious food and other plants using smart techniques that respect both nature and limited urban resources. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.